All of our previous luminosity mask work has applied adjustments across the entire image. With standard luminosity masks, adjustments are restrained by the luminosity selection to target certain tones. But anywhere those tones exist in the image, the adjustment is applied. Often this entire image approach with luminosity masks achieves what you need. For example, like opening up the shadows throughout an entire image. But frequently I find that I need a luminosity mask adjustment to only be applied in one particular part of the image. An example of this would be to bring out highlights in the landscape without also lightening the sky. There are some elegant ways to localize luminosity mask adjustments with great flexibility and control, and I'm going to show you three. The first method for localizing luminosity masks I'll show you is called painting a mask. Painting a mask involves the same concept as filling a mask with white paint, but instead of pushing white paint through a luminosity selection and across the entire image with the fill command, you push white paint through luminosity selection in local areas using a paintbrush. When we previously used the filling a mask method on this image, we used the red lights 3 selection as a mask on a levels adjustment layer, and we set it to the screen blending mode to lighten, and then we reloaded that same selection and then filled the mask repeatedly with white. It worked well for lightening the bands of white rock, but you'll notice that it also lightened parts of the sky. I'm going to back up in the history and show that instead of filling with white paint through the selection, we could simply paint with white paint through the selection right where we want it. Since that Red Lights 3 selection is so restrictive, I'm going to paint with a white brush at 100% opacity, but other times you may need to use a lower opacity brush. I'm also going to start in Mask View so you can see exactly what's happening. So the selection indicator is showing me that I do have that selection loaded, and now with my white paintbrush, I am just going to push white paint through that selection onto the mask and you can see that the areas that I want to get more of the adjustment are receiving the white paint but because I'm only painting right in certain areas it's not going out into areas where I don't want that white paint. Now let's go back to the image view and see how it looks. You can see that it's lightening the white bands of rock, but it's overlapping into the sky almost not at all. In fact, if I didn't want the adjustment to overlap into the sky at all, I'd just start with a completely black mask. So let me turn off this selection, delete the current mask, add a new white mask, and then invert it to black. Now I'll reload that Red Lights 3 selection. And now I can just paint with white exactly where I want it. And the more I layer in the white paint, the stronger the adjustment becomes in those areas. And it doesn't overlap anywhere I don't want it, especially out into the sky. And what we see is a custom painted mask that just does what I want it to do exactly where I want it to do it and not affecting the image in any areas where I don't want it.